I'm getting you on. All right, Sean here, and we are with one of the guys from Miss May I, and you are? I am Ryan. I play bass and sing. Excellent. Now, uh, since you guys are a fairly new band, uh, what's the meaning behind your band name? We don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, it just happened and stuck, and uh, that's pretty much it. We don't have a cool story for it. Now, um, how's it feel being part of a pretty popular record label like Rise Records and getting signed pretty quickly? Out. It's cool because we uh, we did the two year local scene thing. Um, uh, paid a bunch of money to buy pre sales to get on big touring packages and uh, played with you know all the bottom budget gear and uh, drove five cars to shows to get our gear there and did all the all the really hard local stuff and then um, got lucky and got picked up by the label that a bunch of the bands we liked are on so. It was pretty, it was pretty cool, pretty surreal when it happened. It's good now. Now your debut album, which reached number 29 on the Billboard Heat Seekers and uh, number 66 on the Top Independent album uh, for your song Forgive and Forget, which was also featured in the movie Saw 6. And uh, you guys also appeared on MTV Headbangers Ball. Uh, I mean, for a fairly new band, that's pretty amazing. Uh, how does that make you guys you know, feel as a band? And how did it come about appearing on the Saw 6 soundtrack? Uh... The whole first year was a pretty big surprise to everyone, um, even like even management. Everybody kind of figured, just like we did, that it would be, uh, you know, a pretty average year for us. We would you know, tour and you know sell some records, make some fans, and then hopefully, uh, you know, by like the second or third record, we'd have a good fan base. But um, things just kind of took off right from the beginning. The uh, music video um, situation on Headbangers Ball is. It's all the label. Uh, we have a really good team there that took care of stuff. Um, same thing with the Saw 6. Um, just a good management and uh, label team behind us pretty much took care of it, and they uh, let us know that we had the opportunity to do that, so we thought it was a good idea as well, and just uh, went from there. Sweet. Now on uh, Punk Goes Pop Volume 3, you guys covered uh, Run This Town. Was this your choice, and why'd you guys choose that song? Yeah, uh, they give you... Um, I think it was like a 15 song list um, and then we went through and we just tried to find they're all popular songs that they give you so you pretty much it's a win no matter what one you do it's going to be a song someone knows we just went through and tried to pick the one that had uh, um, the most resemblance to more of like a, a rock or metal song with instrumentation so that we could uh, try and turn it into a metal song rather than something that was all uh, electronic where it would be hard for us to know make guitar parts out of it we tried to pick a song that actually had um real drum parts real guitar parts so that when we uh made a song out of it it was still a cool metal song yeah it did definitely uh, <coughs> a pretty kick ass song now uh, <coughs> excuse me what's the story and inspiration behind your newest video Re relentless chaos which is a pretty badass video um the where's levi Levi is the brainchild of the music video. Uh, it's um, just... Wait, am I supposed to... Is, yeah, it's on me now? Yeah, it's on me now. What's up? Levi, singer. Um, but, um, no, uh, basically it's just, um, like, someone's fate on death row and whatnot, and, uh, that's what the whole, like, the whole meaning of the song was just about, like, just knowing, like, what your fate is and everything, so, uh, and we had the offer to do it in that prison, so we just made the story around the prison, and it freaking ended up turning out pretty cool. So, yeah. so that prison is two hours from our house. It's like a, it's a huge tourist attraction that like um, everybody goes to anyway, just to check out one to take cool tours of it. It's the one from Shawshank Redemption. Oh, okay. So when we got the offer to do it, we were like, oh yeah, oh, okay. definitely gonna. <laughs> Now, uh, last year, December, uh, it was announced that you guys are going to be playing uh, the band's Warp Tour for 2011. Uh, is this your first guy's Warp Tour, and how exciting uh, are you guys to be playing such a huge venue like Warp Tour? Yeah, it's uh, it's our first time ever playing Warped. Um, every member of the band pretty much spent like, teenage years going to Warp Tour every year, like paying big bucks, going to see all these huge bands. And then um, last year... Uh, around it was in the summertime we had a day off and we were out with Prada and we got to go to Warp Tour backstage all that good stuff and uh, like see how things worked hang out with a bunch of our uh, friends that were on the stages 
and we were like, it would be really cool to get on this. I don't know if that's something that our band can do. And then December rolled around, and uh, we pretty much got locked down that we can do it. So we're it's probably the most excited we've ever been for anything because it's like a it's a whole different level from a regular tour. Like not only is it it's all outdoors. It's, you know, two to 3,000 people a day watching you. A tour bus, because the routing is so tough, it's pretty hard to do in a van. Um, it's just going to be a whole new experience on a bunch of different levels for us, so it should be pretty cool for us. Now, what is the inspiration behind your latest album, Monument? Uh, the whole, the whole uh, touring season on the first record, um, for every band that does their first record, it's a... Uh, a lot of the criticism is uh, it's just another whatever band. They're going to disappear. They're going to do one or two records and break up and be another band. And uh, we wanted to make a statement with the second record to say we are a dedicated band. We are a metal band. We're here to stay. So it's the whole purpose behind uh, the album being titled Monument. And uh, it's just basically uh, about us sticking around. We're not going anywhere. Uh, now, I know you guys are a fairly new band, uh, but do you guys have any crazy fan or tour stories you'd like to share? Our fans are usually pretty cool. I mean, we, uh, we don't... I think because we're more of a... Um, since our band got big and in, the, in the, the new age of, like, Twitter and MySpace and Facebook and stuff, like, fans already feel really connected as it is. You know, they, they know a lot more about each member. They know a ton about the band. Sometimes so. it's a little scary. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, but it's weird though because I can, when the fans come up to us, they're all, they're not um, usually not spazzing out, you know, like they already pretty much know everything about you. So when they come up to you, they a lot of our fans seem to treat us more like um, people they've already met, like friends kind of thing. So usually, usually fans aren't that crazy, especially we haven't been out of uh, out of America very many times though, and I hear. Um, when you leave America, it gets a lot crazier. But in America, our fans are. Every band we've interviewed said Australians are crazy. So if you ever make it out there, our buddies in Prada said Mexico and yeah. South America. We're, we're about to do Japan and Indonesia and stuff, and I heard those people are going to be insane. Like we're not allowed to. Uh, it's like in the paperwork, like not to like leave the hotel or like leave without a drum entry because people. Well, plus we're going to stick out like a sore thumb in like a third world country. So <laughs> yeah, it's going to be pretty insane. So we do that right after this tour. So. Pretty crazy. Yes. Now, uh, what made you guys decide for the logo to be the, the lion and the form that, sh that shapes to be look like a door handle for your album monument, and also what uh, for your current band logo as well? Um, for the artwork, um, uh, Levi and I started talking about artwork um, probably while we were at the studio, I think, um, and that's when we were trying to finalize everything, and we spent a ton of time between. Levi spent a ton of time going back and forth with our manager Chris about who could do um, the artwork for the new record and we started out by the main thing we wanted to do is repeat the lion theme because it stuck on the first record it was cool um, and uh, we just kind of want that to be a repeating theme throughout the record so just so it's something that the band can be recognized by you know um, so that was the whole purpose of keeping the lion but uh as far as the way the art came out, um, we wanted it to symbolize monument. You know, like it's the, it's like the door knocker. Um, it's all in stone, like a monument. There's a uh, lyrical references in the in the album about that. Um, but the reason it came out the way it did is basically who designed it. Um, who? Well, the uh, we'd like to leave that for that. The designer for the album artwork. New art artwork. Yeah, monument. That is a, It's pretty cool. It was like. Um, some of the members from the Blizzard team did the new one, so it's like from the World of Warcraft and all that, like all those people. So yeah. <laughs> that was like it was like sort of like a joke idea with an email where like let's just go over the top, let's ask World of Warcraft. So there's literally like 200 members, and we just sent out like 50 emails, and a couple of them replied, and we we're just like this is gonna be crazy. So we ended up getting that, and it was crazy. We got it in like a week, and it, it like. You can't tell by looking at, like, the poster and stuff, but we have, like, the HD, like, image. It's like a painting. It's just, it's insane, so it's pretty cool. Nice. And last but not least, uh, what does the future hold for you guys? You have in the, in the new albums coming out. Uh, we talked about you guys were just yeah. doing some tours. Uh, what can your fans expect? We have, uh, we pretty much have our schedule packed as full as possible. Um, immediately after this tour, we do Japan, Indonesia, Singapore, Malaysia, um... Uh, I think that's I think 
that's it. That's called the Southeast Asia run. Um, you said something about maybe a new video? Yeah, we're hoping to... Uh, it's not uh, anything... I think we might try to do a video on our next time off. We get a couple weeks off here soon before we do another big American tour. And if things work out, we're going to try to do a new one. Um, but as soon as that little break is over, we go out with... Um, Asking Alexandria, Amir, Chiodos, us. Actually, we're doing that show as well. We're doing um, Amir and Asking Alexandria, yeah. hopefully. Evergreen Terrace and uh, Lower Than Atlanta. So that's a huge tour for us. It's the biggest rooms we've ever played. Um, like 2,000 cap rooms, a lot of places. It's going to be pretty crazy. Um, as soon as that ends, um, we fly to the UK and Europe, um, where we are splitting a bus with We Came as Romans. Um, us and the word alive and then there's one other band on that tour and it's like a first time we've ever experienced a like europe double decker bus deal so that should be pretty nice. cool it's our first full european tour we've only done mainland uk so far and then as soon as that ends um we come home and i think we are actually done until warp tour i think we're gonna try to start writing um hoping to release something cool on warp tour can't really say what it is <laughs> but um been working on it uh, for the past few months. Hopefully it pans out and we get to do that. But uh, other than that, just first keep touring and keep promoting Monument and stay on the road. Keep everybody happy. Definitely can't wait for a new album. Uh, Monument, definitely kick-ass album. Uh, Thank you. Definitely like the hard stuff and the, the clean vocals with the, with the screaming definitely you know, goes, you. goes very well together. It's hard to find a band that where it actually you know, yeah. sounds good we, together. Uh, we worked really hard on Monument. We were really proud of it. We were nervous it wasn't going to do as well. Um, as the first one because it's it is pretty different, but it, it's doing awesome. Our fans are uh, all pretty excited about it, so it's been a good it's been a good album cycle. We've had a good time. Everybody's singing along, so had a good time. If you guys haven't checked out Miss May, I definitely do that. Thanks, guys. No problem. That was awesome.